So in this video, I wanted to add the radius free radius servers configuration with Cisco uh, BIOS. I already demonstrated BIOS, but I'm just going to add this here as well. And on top of that, I am going to illustrate or show 40 net, 40 nets, 40 gate. So here's my 40 gate virtual machine and I brought it up and I'm logging into it with a user called B. And I'm gonna log, so the local user is admin, so I'm not gonna use that. So it's logging in with A, as well as B. Cisco router is logging in with A and it's going to log in with B. Okay, and the VOS is going to log in with A and B. So I've got three clients, Cisco, Router, BIOS, and Fortinet on my Ubuntu free server. And I am using this, I'm inserting the clients, sudo nano, nano, and then my first video regarding free radius server, I demonstrated how to install it and configure it, but you gotta put in your client information in this file under this directory for the 3.0. So here's my 40 gate. It's sitting on 101111. And one one triple one. That's my management. Here's my VOS. It's sitting on ten one one three. Ten one one three. And here's my Cisco CSR, which is sitting on ten one one ten. Ten one one ten. So once you put in your client. IP addresses, that is all for this file. Then you gotta go and edit this file called authorized to put in the users. And this is gonna be under this directory, free radius 3.0 mods config files authorized. So you edit this and you put in your users here. So this is my testing user. This is my user A and user B. So let's put in C as well. Control K, 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 Control U, Control U. Change this to C, C. So now I've got three users. And if I go log out, control X, modify yes. And it's not gonna work when I use it. Because I have not restarted the service. I'm gonna try this again. And the 40 gate is able to log in with ABC and the admin is the local. Test C. Yep. Good. 
Good. So <clears throat> the configuration and installation is in the previous video. That's pretty straightforward. I just illustrated how to create another user and restart the service and you're done with that. Now let's look at Cisco's configuration. Show configuration partition common. section it's not showing up right now with this guy so so you gotta enable the radius server Here it is. Triple A new model. And then these three commands, authentication, I just added the banner so you don't have to add that one. But authentication, login, default, group, radius. And then if you want to make sure that you have, if the radius fails, you go to the local, then you put local and you define a local user. But in my case, I'm just using radius. I'm not saving this config, I'm just putting it in the flash drive, uh, flash of this router. And the second command is AAA authentication exec default group radius. Okay. Authorization. I don't think you need this one either. Uh, I'll test this later, but I think all you need is really the one command default group radius. Then after this, you go and Put in the radius server information. There it is. Radius space server, whatever name you want to give. Then the address of the radius server, 10111. In my case, this is what my radius server is. 10111. The authentication port is 1812. If you leave it to default, this is what it's going to do and set it to 1646 and it's not going to work so you have to specify 1812 this pops up by default i'm not doing any accounting but if you're doing any accounting then you're going to specify 1812 again non-standard key is testing one two three which i specified in my server here and that's about it let's see show running Partition common. If I take out, okay, I'll do this last. Let me just make sure I show you the VOS, which I've already shown in the last show configuration. Yes, it's passed. So this one is very straightforward. Set system login radius server 1011 and then just the key. Again, it's only working in 1013 uh, version 13. It's not working on 118. So um, simple command here with Cisco. You got these AAA configurations. Uh, again, I don't think you need the authorization because I'm not doing authorization. Let's quickly test this. No triple A authorization exact default group. Okay. All right. So I've got only essentially one command, the other one is option. There we go. So show run partition common. And you only have one command here you need sorry two commands triple a new model and then that command and then you got the radius server command with 1812 non-standard key 
that's how your I'm going to copy this running into my flash. Okay, so that's your Cisco and your BIOS with your radius. Now let's take a look at the Fortinet. So with Fortinet, you have to go. GUI is a bunch of clicks. You got to remember where to go. So you're going to go to Radius Server first. And your Radius Server is going to be under Users and Authentication, LDAP, Radius Server. You define your Radius Server right here. IP, the IP of your Radius Server. The secret, which is testing one, two, three. And if you want to test the user credentials, you put in your user credentials here and test it. And you should get this blue stuff. Otherwise, you're going to get invalid credentials. Connection is successful. So Once you test your credentials, basically that's you, you're done with this portion. Then you go to user groups, add a new user group called RAD1, and add a remote group called RAD1, and groups any remote server is RAD1. Once you're done with the user groups, you go and configure a user. So you go to system, and this is the tricky part, which is not in documentation. You go to administrator, and you add the first user in the radius server. This is typically going to get disabled so you gotta add, you gotta add the first user to make this work and it's not going to be local it's going to be match all users in the remote server group and the remote user group is rad rad one that we configured so this is the tricky part you got to put in the first user once you put in the first user you can log in with all the users in the radius server itself right now I'm logged in with C. So that is how you configure your Cisco BIOS and your fully net firewall with the free radius server. Hope this helps.